Let's see what is involved in developing a simple custom control and how easy it is to do. Because of time constraints, we will develop only a simple control. Despite that, I will show you that writing the logic of the control is the biggest part and that the overhead and scaffolding is minimal. We are going to develop a simple control called Smiley, which uses a button to show a simple smiley or frowny text emoticon. It could easily be adapted to use images instead. Custom controls fully support inheritance, just like VCL form controls. We could have more easily inherited from an existing button control, but instead we will build Smiley from the ground up to show the complete process. Custom controls can be developed in any IDE that supports JavaScript. You can even use a simple text editor like Notepad, even Edlin will work. We use TypeScript because it fixes many of JavaScript's major issues and makes using JavaScript bearable. The TypeScript will seem familiar to both Delphi and c -sharp developers. This should not come as a surprise. All three were designed by Anders Heilsberg. Here we are using the open source Visual Studio Code. I've already loaded a shell unit to start our smiley. So far, all we have is a namespace and an empty class. The namespace is important. All controls must exist in Interweb Control's namespace. Within that namespace, we need to establish a unique sub-namespace, and we have chosen Smiley Control. In most cases, we would use a group name to cover several custom controls. For many libraries that Interweb supports, it uses four to five letters for libraries, such as JQUI for jQuery UI, FCIO for full calendar IO, CHJS for chart.js, DTNET for datatables.net, and so forth. Using four to five letters is not a requirement, but it makes typing the IWML tags a bit easier as custom controls must always use their prefix in IWML. Every control needs to choose a base or ancestor class. Because we want to show the complete process from the ground up, we have chosen a focus control rather than a button. Controls which do not support focus would use control as the base instead of focus control. As you can see, smiley is underlined in red, which indicates we have a problem. Looking to the problems tab, we can see that we must implement the init DOM method. At a bare minimum, this is what must be implemented for even the most basic custom control. Most controls will implement two to three other methods for additional functionality. Let's implement the DOM method. Note the use of this keyword. This in TypeScript and JavaScript is the equivalent of self in Delphi. However, unlike Delphi, the use is mandatory for this. You cannot access fields or methods of the same class without it as you can in Delphi. We have added a field to store our button and an init DOM method to initialize the custom control. In the init DOM method, we create and store the button. Then we tell Interweb that the button is the root element. This is important for more complex controls, which are made up of more than one element. As this is a simple control, we have only one element, the button. At a very basic minimum, we now have a custom control. It doesn't do very much though at this point. Let's test our shell. To do this, we need two other files. We need an HTML file and also an IWML file. To augment testing, we will also create a code behind TypeScript file. The HTML file exists only to load IntraWeb. This HTML file is mostly empty, but you can use an HTML file with HTML and even tell Interweb to load into a div to mix with other HTML content. In this case, we are going to load our IWML into the body. We need an IWML file to display our control. Here we have a mostly empty IWML file. Let's add a text control and a smiley control. Finally, we have a TypeScript file that we will use later to test our control. Later, we will also add our control to Delphi so we can use it from a Delphi application. Now we are ready to test our control. To do this, we just run it. And there, we have our first custom control. At this point, it is rather useless though and doesn't even show a caption. Let's expand our control.
we have added a property, an event, and two methods. IsHappy exposes a property usable from IWML. OnClick exposes a click event of the root element, which in our case is a button. There are ways to expose events and compound controls too, but we are a simple control with only a root element. In this case, IntraWeb automatically performs the hookups for us. We also have an init props method in which we set a default parameter. Default parameters allow a more compact form of IWML, and we will see this shortly. The render method is where our logic goes. In the render method, we need to look at the exposed properties and update our control. In our case, we simply set the text of the button to a happy or a sad text emoticon. Now we are ready to test again. Now we can see a smile. Let's add some more smileys in our IWML to see how it works. We've added a gap control between our smileys to give them some space. We also now have three smiley controls instead of just one. The first one is a bare control with no properties. We have given it a name of smiley1. Names are optional. Controls can exist without a name as we saw in our first run of smiley. The gap and text controls also exist without a name. The third smiley is a long form declaration. We set the is happy property in a property block. Property blocks are useful when a control needs several properties to be set. Smiley2 uses a short form with a parameter. Parameters can contain more than one property or other information, but in our example, Smiley accepts only one parameter and uses it to control the isHappy property. We have enabled this using the initProps method. With a short form, the control declaration takes only one line instead of three. Many controls support parameters, and using them makes IWML far more compact and easier to read as well as write. Let's run to see our progress again. Between each run, we need to make sure that we are saving the IWML file. Now we have three smileys, one of which is sad. Now we are going to add some code behind the IWML page. Note that this code does not belong to the control itself, but is part of our test IWML page, which we are using to test the control. Now we have declared references to each of our smiley controls, allowing us to access them in code. We have also added three click events, one for each instance of our smiley. Let's run it again. Now, let's put our smiley control into Delphi. To do this, we need some Delphi code. Fortunately, all we have to do is run some automated processes and IntraWeb will convert our TypeScript control into Delphi for us. In the future, this will be a single step. For now, it is a few steps. I have grouped these steps into a single batch file. Now, we are almost ready to use it in Delphi. Here, I have an empty test project and an empty design package. The batch file that I ran has created everything else that we need. Let's add the pass file to the package and install it. Now it is ready to use. Now we have our custom smiley. We can modify using the object inspector or using IWML view. Here is our is happy property. We're going to give it a name. And now we're going to set a Delphi event. This time we're going to use Delphi code to interact with Smiley. That's it! That is how easy it is to create custom controls in IntraWeb 17.